Ah, welcome everybody to Season 2 of XCOM and Enemy Unknown. <clears throat> I'm going to say Season 1 was a tester run, shall we say, because truth be told it sucked. So I'm going to hit this a second time and I'm going to go Classic and I'm going to go Iron Man because I pretty much play Iron Man anyhow by default. I don't go back and reload and spam save and all that kind of stuff. So we'll have that and in second wave I want to do these two because they look interesting. Random starting stats and random increases. Now damage roulette, mm, well it's exactly like it's a roulette, it seems a little bit dangerous. A new economy, I just I haven't got control of the uh, geoscape well enough. So Iron Man, classic, yeah let's do this. I'm going to skip the intros and stuff this time, we don't need all the cinematics. So um, unless there's some new stuff later on. Now, this is still the interesting choice. Um, labs are good. That's awesome later on for the officer training alone, let alone the foundry stuff. <sighs> Mo money. Mo money. It's a tough call. It's a tough call. I think. Officer training school. Let's see how it goes. You'll be heading into Japan for the next mission. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Same old, same old. Now... Ah, classic mode. Classic mode. I got really far when I did the normal right. run. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. Ooh, we're right up against the edge. That's interesting. All right, that's not too bad. Is this? This is a super thin corridor of death. Okay. So the rule of thumb is itsy bitsy teeny weeny, like teeny weeny, little footsteps, lots of cover, no rushing around like some sort of loon. So I'm gonna go for two for two. Oh, you bastard! Oh, it's still okay. Oh, you are so, so lucky I didn't trigger anybody there. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get him hidden, hopefully. Good. Good, good, good. Right, you're doing nothing, so I think... Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch! I need to hunker down just yet. Right, well, as soon as we've got <coughs> Sneaky Dude up the lead... This looks like it does. Well, that's interesting. Let's leave him around here, there, just in case. Oh, we need to get some. Need to get something going here. So again, I've been reading and watching and watching and reading, and hopefully I've learned something about the tactical game. Anyhow, the strategies for the geosphere are slightly more daunting with managing all of your um, terror levels and stuff. Now it's all about satellites so I'm going to be aiming for a lot of satellite action this time around. Um, yeah, we haven't seen anybody yet. Let's... same old, same old. Keep it simple. Keep everyone ready. Come on, rookies, where are they? Where are these guys? There's... I sincerely hope they're not around here. Alex! <laughs> We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. X-rays got me outflanked! For the minute, what we do have is a nade. Hooray! We love nades. Oh, I wish I could control this thing better. Now, can we love them with all our might? I think we can. Holy moly. Look at that. Right, do it. Let's get you promoted, soldier. Oh. No, Valen. While certainly effective at killing aliens, yes. they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the body. You're hoping. Just something to consider. 
Oh, she's so pushy. No one likes Valen because of that, that little thing. She's like, don't do it. It's not worth it. Bloody is, mate. Again, I think I said it on before I say it again. You come down and fight. You tell me what to do. Uh, little by little. Oop. Oh, good. At least they're through a wall. Alright, they have high ground. That is shitty. That is really shitty. And the only way up, as far as I know, in this building is all the way around here. Or is that a different building? I think there's some stairs around here that allows to get up, yeah. Oh boy. Not cool, not cool for school. You're fucked, you're not even down. Shit. Hunker it, baby, hunker it. Christ, that's a really bad place to have them because they're so far over. Maybe we're just going to have to bait them out. Let's hope the guy survives at the front. Christ. For the first mission, it's going to be the guys. Because... Are they going to live? I don't know. Where are you going to, little buddy? You ain't no buddy of mine. You ass. That's through, like, a million walls. Come on! That's actually ridiculous. But then again... Oh, uh, well, pff, that just doesn't feel nice. Doesn't feel nice at all. What do we have? 40%? No siree. And you? 20. 20%? How the hell did poor old rookie Simon get hit? Is this going to give me... I think this will give me flanking on him. Yeah. Do it. Come on, backer. Ah, oh, yeah. Nicely done. Nicely done. Now, if you, if you can survive the next turn. Weapons appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. Mm -hmm. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Indeed. Indeed, we should. Ah, oh, I don't want to aggro any more of those buggers. What are we going to do? I can't... I don't think there's going to be any more up there, but I'm not sure. Overwatch you. Green! Well... Oh, it's brutal. It's such a freaking evil game. Evil! And we can't see anything, so if we hunker down... See if those two other buggers will come out. They're not doing anything. Well, they might be. They could all be overwatching their asses off or scurrying around like little bastards. It's not good leaving them out there, but that could be anything else. There could be so much other stuff around there. We're just going to have to keep an eye on our flank. Shit as it may be. Because it is pretty shitty. Okay. And you are around the back. Let's keep you going up the side. Alright. That'll do. <clears throat> you hear that? Mm-hmm. I don't know how many squads there are on uh classic mode. I'm guessing at least two, so I'm expecting another three new sectoids to pop up at any point. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's just this, these early doors. These early door games, they're just... This is tricky stuff. No, let's not sign you anything. It's just that good rule of thumb. is to move everybody. And then decide what you're going to do for your second action. Sprinting to a minimum. Keeping hard cover as much as possible. Now what do we have up here? The road, okay, so this is the area. They're gonna be here somewhere. They are gonna be here somewhere. Real close. Ok, 
Okay. You hunk down. You're on Overwatch. As are you. Oh, boy. Ooh. Everybody's just chilling, huh? Hmm. Okay, well, let's see if we can't get the stairs covered. Oh, it's good. It's good. We need to work our way up here. That's the thing. And it, pff, I suspect more bad guys in that corner. It looks bad guy. -y. Are we still good? We are still good. I don't. I don't want to leave anybody behind. So this dude is, <coughs> excuse me, simply going to sprint all the way up and tuck up himself away. We shall go back just to keep the aliens at bay. So from all the stuff I've been watching, <laughs> you smell something. Um. From all the stuff I've been watching and reading, the way the enemies react and the way they behave to your uh, maneuvers is pretty damn cool. Excuse me a second. Let's just. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. Maybe she'd do better off. Eliza. Elisa. Elizabeth. Backer. Backer. Amusingly. Shen. Ping Sheng. Sheng, you're hitting around the back. Cover that. Nothing there. Whew, it's these bug hunts, man. They do my head in. They really do. Alright, Overwatch. Overwatch. We're one for one at the moment, which is sucky. Upstairs has a doorway, but it seems pretty clear. Let's see if there is anything around the back here. Do we have anything? A bloody great tree in the way. That's no good. Mm, don't want to dash up. Do not want to dash up. Let us. We're pretty clear the window. If you do need to go. Okay, you're good. Let's get you guys upstairs. Green's on the back up, you're around the side, so Backer is on her own. Let's get you up there. Good. You're definitely remaining on Overwatch. As are you. Hmm. I don't know if they're going to be flanking me. So do I send Green up as well is the question. Oh, there's a nice sniper spot up here. Loads of cool stuff. Hmm. Long range fire, it's not about that when you're a rookie. We really need to keep things tight. Let's keep you there. They are kind of spread out. A little bit split. Oh. Yeah, I saw it. That's fine. It's not too near. I hear you, bastards. I hear you. This is the danger zone right here, up here. As far as I can figure. Let's have a look. Just a quick one. Oh, boom. And we flanked someone. Who do we see? I, I just don't understand how how these shots worked out. <laughs> Alright, well that's good. We'll keep them in view for a second. Now you... you are not going to do any good. Ah, but they could be heading down for the stairs. That's cool. We will leave you where you are for the minute. You, my dear, are not having much fun down the corridor of death. Potential death. Yeah, there's windows and all sorts around here, so we'll creep you up a little bit closer. Still good. Still good. Okay. Definitely overwatch you. And you. And at 60%, you've got to take a crack. I mean, I don't suppose there's... There's no way I'm getting a nade over there. <laughs> it's worth a, worth a look. 
Well, we'll try that. Do it. Great. Mm-hmm. I wonder which one of those is which. They didn't do anything. Oh, no, that is interesting. You're the one I think I want to hit because you're the mind controller? I think there's a more info tell us. Nothing, obviously, because we've had no bloody autopsies yet. <laughs> ah, yes. It's one down. Picked the wrong one, but damn it. At least it's dead. <sighs> Where am I going to pull you? Let's bring you in. <clears throat> Let's bring you indoors. My room seems clear. That's all good. Hmm. It's tucked away. Hopefully she'll get another chance. So we'll leave you right where you are. What are you going to do? I just shot your mate. You're doing shit. That's fine. Stay there. I'm lucking out. Utterly lucking out in this. Ah, oh, so good. I mean, jeez. Commander. The labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Awesome. 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 So one down, and that was just shit luck, really. And ridiculous. Shooting through walls. Shh. I need to make some quieter jets. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Cheers! I what do we have? Sniper and support. Fantastic. The support class yeah. Intangible edge our squads need. Ping. They make everyone around them better. <laughs> Excellent. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar. Yes, they do. But without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. That's awesome. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded. You're just gonna bug me. Stop bugging me, Valen. Just get on with researching. Weapons. It's got to be weapons, and then it's got to be everything else. Commander, I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but if piss off. Tired of telling me stuff already. Uh, We've still got some room to grow up here. But that's not bad. To expand our facilities, we're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go. The more it's going to cost. Very true, very true. We have a satellite uplink. We definitely want to be getting on with building at least one of these. Start you going for now. Um, buy a med kit. I guess. Well, uh, let's save my money. Save my money. Uh, the barracks are good. No one wounded. Backer and Shen. Good dudes. Or dudettes. I'm not entirely sure. I forgot. Commander I think Backer's a girl. Shush. I'm having a think. Uh, well, there's nothing we can do. Alright. So let's do our first scan. Now it's the 1st of March. What we could do with is an alien UFO really soon. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. It's gotta be engineers. Engineers on money. No, I think it's engineers are what it's about right now. Alright guys. Going in for the second time with a new rookie. Two new rookies? Which one was green? Green went in last time. Awesome. We have visual on the mission site. Let's go. The drop site is oh. in Canada. That's all I need to know. <laughs> Not Canada. This this map. Oh, these these urban missions, man. 
still was pretty quick on the first one, but there's only three sectoids, I suppose, so... Yeah, you look vicious, you guys. Rrr. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Awesome. Reading you five by five. Now... Has the green light for deployment. I've seen a few good players do this map before. We have one assault. Elizabeth Backer. Oh yeah. Alright, Backer, hopefully you can get your ass over to the wall. Wall is a very good spot to be. You're another assault guy. Shift you up as well. And what I'm hoping is that we will be able to set our sniper up at the end of this corridor. And she'll just keep everyone busy. Okay. Bring it. Well, carefully. And quietly, preferably. So can we just scoot up this cover a bit? That's good. And you... Get up there, green. You're the two survivors, I think. Right, Ruben. Gonzalez. You don't really have a good spot to go to. Ah, oh, you can't hide behind lampposts. That's a shame. We do need to find some guys to shoot. So let's just get you over here. And you guys, as per normal. Uh, not a headshot. I thought... Oh, she can't overwatch. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So... Old Backer. She is working her way up here quite nicely. Now we're getting quite far along. It's the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about. I don't want to move those guys up too far without having... Something to at least lob some nades at would be nice. Hmm. Tough call, man. But then again, we, we might be able to pincer whoever's around there. Okay, let's get you round. See, there's a slime ball up there. But that doesn't always denote that there's going to be baddies. Let's keep going, guys. Yep. And you're hunkering down, I guess, for now. Okay, okay. What the hell was that? That could be a grenadal target? That's what I'm thinking. Come on, buddy. <sighs> You're not spotting anybody, are you? Crap, well, there's nothing else you can do. Hmm. Move up, backer. You're a little bit freaked, which isn't good. Not very useful. There's nothing here, though. This is a very quiet and eerie mission. Not sure I like this. Let's whip the snipe around. Get old Shen closer. What was that? That's really close as well, that is. What do you reckon? Just lob an aid over? Get one over there, take out the first car. It's a bit of a gamble. Cool man, tough call. What if I send... Let's bring you up a bit closer. There we are. Should have naded them. <laughs> what if they die if you haven't clocked them? I imagine so, they've got to be there, surely. Alright, good. We have stuff to play with. Let's get the old sniper up. Shen. If we bring you up here, can you see them? No. You hunker down. 
pretty far away, but I reckon... Let's get old Emily Green up to the wall. Still safe, still safe. And maybe, just maybe, she'll be able to pull something miraculous off. Like that. Looks ridiculous. Give it some. Oh, got one. At least. And back around herself a promotion. Awesome. Oh. So these might be slower slower games, but I think this is all you can Awesome. I think this is all you can do, really. Hey! Screw collateral damage. We're all about collateral damage. We're XCOM. Is that it? We're done. Who are we up for? Lizzie Backer. Alright, do have all of these shops down this side, which is a little bit more dangerous. So... If I get everybody through the car park... It's a bit of a gamble. Oh, it's good, it's good. We'll get you guys up and around. Just keeping an eye around here. Ooh. No, let's do you yet. Who else we got? Oh, Emily Green. Support class. Kicking ass. Very nice. Full cover from trees. That's pretty spangly. Okay, I'm pretty sure I could probably move you up safely. <laughs> famous last words. I'm pretty sure I can do this. You've got to be damn sure in XCOM about what you're going to do next. There's no half measures, half guesses. It's not like you just go, ah, I think this will be alright. Because most of the time it won't. Okay, cool. Not bad. Not too bad. Hey, yep. You hear anything? Enemy spotted. Oh, they're flanking me. God damn. Where are you going? Ooh, you little bastards. What crazy little monkey sectoids. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah, what that basically means is that you guys are in the shit. Because you're in a very bad spot. Oh, boy. Gone in here and here. What kind of access do we have to that building? This big door? Can you get through that? I don't know. This is our sniper. Maybe we keep her where she is for the minute. I don't really want to go on too much of the offensive because, well, in all honesty, I'll probably die. Let's bring him back. Hope they can't get through that door. You guys, on the other hand, are on the other edge of the map. Maybe I can do a really long-winded pincer. <laughs> you never know. Alright, green. Covering on the other side. That's cool. Overwatch you. Overwatch you. And Shen. Poor Shen. I don't really want to leave her out in the middle of there, but... But nothing. Get her out. Okay. That's cool. Let's let the aliens do their thing. Oh. Blummy. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You can't be shooting me already. That's two moves. Good, good. Alright, in this tense music moment, I want to say... Thanks a lot for watching episode 1 of series 2 of XCOM. Let's damn, I hope I get further this time than I did in series 1. So yeah, join me next time. And I'll catch you all guys then. Cheers!